Hello everyone, Skyfighter here and today I'm bringing to you the moss farm that Azumavoid built in his latest Hermitcraft episode and I'm going to show you how to build it step by step and you can see it running right now and it's quite a, a smart design so the footprint of the farm is 19 by 19 by 10 tall and it will produce more or less around uh, two, 2050 moss blocks uh, 1500 moss carpet and around uh, 200 and something flowering azaleas and azaleas and the latter one is kind of random but so let's not take too much time um, as you can see I dis deconstructed the farm in various stages and I'm going to build one right now with you guys so right now on screen it should be appearing the material list be sure to pause the video and gather all the resources before we start and follow the tutorial step by step because it's not hard but it can get confusing so to start the base of the farm you're going to need a 11 long strip of blocks like this 11 long and now on the tip Counting the first block, you're gonna go do five blocks. So this one is one, two, three, four, five. And again, counting the last one, two, three, four, five. Like this. And now I'm going to counting again, make eleven long. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And let's, let's repeat what we did over there. So counting with the corner one, two, three, four, five. And again, two, three, four, five. And an another 11 long strip. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. And repeat the five, two, three, four five five again two three four five and eleven four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and two three four uh, four five two three four and five it's there already so this is the base of the farm right now so for this step you're gonna take your note blocks and place one on the corner of the 11 long strip on the right side and then on leaving one gap you're going to place one block gap block gap block and the color is wrong but that doesn't matter this is one a block of your choice as long as it's a solid block again um, block space block space block here and another space in the block in the corner and again a note block on the right side of the 11 strip and blocks like a castle wall so repeat for all the corners like this now for the circuit that will control the timing a repeater with one tick redstone on a cross shape again a repeater with one tick Every, every repeater only has one tick, it means you only click on them once, so again, repeater to note block and a redstone there, repeater, redstone, repeater, repeater, again, repeater to the note block, redstone, repeater and repeater. So now for the main clock, we are going to place uh, power rails like this and an observer looking at the note block it's important it should be facing the note block and it should face the same direction as before so in this case right to left and it should also face the same direction as the dispenser so to make a clock that will go around the farm so again powered rails and uh, a clock facing with their, the little face of the observer looking at the note block and looking at the powered rails so here again observer there powered rails and observer to the left side observer powered rails and the last observer 
facing the same direction as before. Also, I forgot to mention, but you should place a block on top of the note blocks so that they don't actually make noise when they activate. It will be annoying, so place a block on top and they will be silent. So now I'm going to install the power switch, get an observer and break the block in front. Place a sticky piston with sand on top, a block there with uh, redstone and the lever. That's all, when you push it up it's actually breaking the clock and when you put it down and put it up again, as you can see a pulse, it now it's making a clock all around the farm. This will drive all the cobblestone generators and pull the lever again and the block will kill the clock. So now for the cobblestone generators we are going to place observers looking into the um, power rails so we place them from the inside and they have the little red lights pointing at you at the inside like this and you play another row of them pointing upwards the little red uh, pixels should be pointing upwards like this all around this way they will transfer the signal from below like so and now the pistons if you look at the observer in a low angle you will be able to put the pistons facing inside like this they need to be facing inside and they will be powered by the observers like so and now you're going to place the lower pistons pointing upwards you point into the, into the observers and place them looking upwards oops uh, okay all around and uh, like a soul so the next step is to encase the farm in glass like so you point at the dispenser at the observer I mean and build four tall walls like this And you repeat the process for all the other corners. And after that you start placing glass on top of the pistons. Just a single row for now. Like this. And now you can place some blocks here, right next to the pistons. This will hold the water so that it doesn't spill everywhere. So again, you place the blocks here, it doesn't need to be blue, just for you to know. So, blocks next to the piston, oh. and one diagonal, like this, on all four sides. Like so. Now I'm going to use orange to demonstrate, you're going to leave one gap and you're going to place a row of glass. This will hold the, the lava sources, so yeah, like so. Now we are going to build the main harm, this will you'll start by placing the three droppers, three observers. A, dro uh, a dropper, another observer, dropper, and another observer, dropper. Now two observers, a dropper, two observers again, a dropper again, and an uh, observer with another dropper. Uh, I'm pointing down but it doesn't need to be that way, it's just to transport the signal. So an observer down and you're going to place the piston below this dropper here which will power the piston and you're going to place the moss block uh, under the piston in front, like so. I forgot to mention but you can also go ahead and add a second row of glass in front of the one that is holding the, the lava just for aesthetics, so there we go, like that. Now, you're going to Using that corner you're going to put 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, eight, and leave that one. And nine, eight here, leaving like a corner missing right here. To place the water dispensers, uh, place one there on the opposite corner of where the block is missing. This will be the bubble elevator, so one here but not in the corner uh, and below, so leaving one block gap. And this one is mostly in the corner, so and you can encase everything in glass now just to contain all the water so it doesn't spill everywhere. Okay, so this part is complete now. Now grab your redstone and place a line ending on top of the of the dropper going all the way around and here you want to place a, a repeater because the signal ends here so repeat the signal one tick it's important and yeah leave the, the dust like that now now it's time for the soul sun elevator. You will break the block on the corner. You break these two and you place a sticky piston facing to the right. You can actually break that uh, spare redstone and you place a, a soul sand with a, a glass pane there. It will push the items in. Now you can start to build, in, build uh, the water sources. So break those, get any stair of your choosing, like that, it, this one is, is kind of awkward, uh, let me break this, yeah, the back should be facing inwards and cover that so it doesn't spill water, like you can see the back of the block is pointing inside the farm and you can build a tree wall Three tall uh, tube for the water. Uh, yes. Okay. Three tall. Now to complete the bubble column, you want to build a tree wide with a piece of packed ice or blue ice and make a row as long as you want. This will be to your for your for your storage system. So. You can do whatever you want. Now place two blocks there and place two chests or two ender chests completing the bubble column and capping the top so items don't go flying. And yeah, now place iron bars here. This will uh, line the items so that they travel on the ice but they can also be picked up by hoppers later. So you can uh, in case the rest of the two with any block you want I'm using glass but you can do whatever you prefer here it's not important now to make the farm sustainable I'm going to install a, a dispenser here which will bone mill the moss hopper behind and two more hoppers pointing into it now you're gonna grab your composters Place three of them here and three hoppers on top. This will catch some of the moss and you can encase this here. This will catch some of the moss to produce more to produce more uh, bone meal so that you can run the farm essentially forever. Now you can fill these stairs with water. I forgot to do that earlier but yeah you can fill them and now you complete the bubble column, you can use kelp to easy the process or do it with ice or just like I did, like so. Here we can extend the water by placing a pressure plate, like so, and another water. Just going to cover the top so it doesn't spill everywhere. And this will be where your storage system goes. Now let's put the water buckets into the farm. Starting by placing water on the blue, this blue uh, glass 
it should flow on this piston and the water should not be on top of the piston so the source it's on the right of the piston like so okay the water is in place let's now the flushing system place one bucket inside each of these dispensers like so and this one now for this part of the farm you actually need to have the farm running it should not be creating anything now because it doesn't have lava but this way you can place the lava safely without breaking anything otherwise you will uh, destroy the water sources if there is no no stone being generated so if everything's working fine go ahead and place the um, the lava here all around and let the, the farm generate some stone to create a platform right there like so make sure everything's working fine also a note uh, make sure all the, your uh, dispensers of water are synced because otherwise you will get uh, uh, weirdness happening so all of them should be firing at the same time and retracting to kickstart the farm I put 36, 32 bone meal here and it should start working uh, 36 should be more than enough to keep the farm running as you can see it's working fine and items are actually going to go out Okay, now that it has a cap on it, as you can see, it's um, the hoppers are collecting some of the the contents of the farm and composting into more bone meal. We are eating through the bone meal, but we are actually going to produce more bone meal than what we use. So eventually, the farm will basically be full of bone meal if you run for a while. Yeah, everything seems to be running fine. Yeah, that's basically the entirety of the farm. As you can see, it actually some items can pass through the hoppers. So even though the farm is not totally full, yeah, it's it's creating some. It's not uh, going to zero. So, but yeah, even if the farm is is running, it's not actually uh, running out of bone meal, and you will actually. Uh, still get some moss and other byproducts even with the hoppers. If you see that the farm is struggling with the bone meal, you can always add one more uh, hopper there with a composter and now it will have one more composter generating bone meal for you. So the rates of the farm, uh, the, as you can see all the hoppers are completely full, the bone meal is all backed up and this is 10 minutes of the farm running. So yeah, you can take this result, multiply it by 6 as I told to you on the beginning and it will be your, your rates. As a reminder again, the switch works by pulling the piston up will kill the farm, like so. Pushing it out will not do anything and to activate you need to push it up and push it down before the signal reaches. So as you can see it's working now. And it's just that. It's kind of weird, but it's a cool system. And that's it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And I hope to see you in the next time. Here's some moss for you. Bye-bye.